Hey Trout Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well today. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Job 18, 1 through 20, 11, Psalm 105, 1 through 6, Proverbs 21, 20 and 21, and 1 Corinthians 7, 25 through 40. Today we're going to be talking about always a reason to rejoice. And our focal passage will come from Psalm 105, verse 3, which says, Honor his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek Yahweh rejoice. The second fruit of the Spirit listed by Paul is joy. Galatians 5.22 It is no mere accident that joy follows the first love. Joy is a byproduct of love. If you concentrate on getting joy, it will elude you. But if you concentrate on getting love, then joy will seek you out. You will be automatically joyful. The nine qualities of the fruits of the Spirit are not natural attributes, but supernatural ones. You cannot manufacture them. They just appear in our lives as we allow the Holy Spirit to have His way within us. I know many Christians who find it difficult to embrace the fact that the fruits, fruit of the Spirit is joy. They not only don't expect joy, they don't want joy. One grim Christian said this once, At the heart of our faith is, is a cross. This means we ought to be spending our time weeping, not laughing. Well. It is true that there is a cross at the heart of the Christian faith and that following Christ involves some rigorous self-denials but it, it does not alter or cannot alter the fact that the fruit of the Spirit is joy. We cannot deny that there are some good, a good deal of suffering in Christianity but beneath the suffering is a joy that will, if we allow it, burst upon uh, upward through everything. I am bound to say that if there is no joy, there is no Christianity. For Christianity is inherent joy. The empty tomb takes away our empty gloom. We have an Easter morning in our faith, and that means there is always a reason to rejoice. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we are so thankful that your Holy Spirit applies redemption right at the roots of our being. Thus, we can be glad even when we are sad. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this, look at Luke 10, 17-22, Luke 15, 4-6, and Hebrews 12, 2, and keep these two questions in mind. How did Christ relate joy to the cross? And two, what brings joy to his heart? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continue to follow me here on the daily ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.